it, the royal family treated Prince Philip like black people treat batteries. And every time they die, they just throw them in the freezer and start using them again. I, right now, I got a pair of batteries in my Xbox 360 controller from 1992. So they said, bruh, died at 99, which I still don't believe because eh, he never looked a day younger than 452. And it makes me mad because he just had heart surgery. So he walking around with a with a toddler's brand new heart in his old ass body. And now and now that he's dead, he, they can't even reuse it. Because I promise you, they take that heart out. It got black stuff all on it. It looks like the, the black sea, the black plague all on his heart and whatnot. Then I see people in the comments and they tweeting, oh, he went too soon. No, 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 you, bro, you went too late. Like, like you died on nigga time. Like, kind of people time. Like, you like, you showed up way too late. Like, as soon as you roll up to wherever you, you might roll to Satan or to Jesus, wherever you roll, they gonna be looking at the game like, bro, like, come on. Like, you said you was in the shower 15 years ago. Like, you supposed to been up here. I can't even say rest in peace because it's obviously he been resting on earth and, and earth is ghetto as hell. Because I'm convinced he's been dead at least for 10 years. And so he been in a zombie state, just moseying around Earth like, like it's nothing. And now he's, now the world guard done woke up and found a pile of dust. They probably thought it was some Newport cigarette ashes at first, but they smelled it and it was musty. And then they knew it was Prince Philip and they told everybody he died finally. Like he could have literally passed away from blinking too hard right? just, and just be stuck. I got a bunch of TMs, a bunch of tweets, people saying, oh, don't you feel bad for roasting them so hard? I didn't even say that much. Two years ago, I said bro look like he survived Ebola 27 times. Now, now I'm convinced Ebola survived him. I, I'm convinced you the White Walker from the Game of Thrones. Bro, you, you look like you used to kick it with Adam and Eve. They used pictures of him when they cast for Walking Dead zombies. They said, this is what you have to look like in order to be casted as an extra. You gotta look like you dead already. Well, I was talking about somebody, well, he was he was dead when I was talking about him two, two months ago. But still, hey, I don't care what your It was with great sadness that a short time ago, I received word from Buckingham Palace that His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh has passed away at the age of 99. All right, it's Prince Philip Funeral, the farewell of the husband of Queen Elizabeth II. And it will be attended by only 30 people who are the immediate family, including Prince Harry, who flew in from America without his wife. Buckingham Palace admitted that the Queen faced very difficult decisions in choosing the participants, as the pre-drum plans were for around 800 people to attend, and the monarch wanted all branches of the Prince family to be represented. You. As a result of the COVID restrictions and Buckingham Palace imploring people not to leave tributes at the gates the scene around the palace is quiet one a few people have laid flowers soon to be removed by one of the many security stood waiting the union flag continues to fly at half the mast in the blue sky on this day of the funeral of his royal highness the prince philip Duke of Edinburgh. The network of European royal residences expresses its heartfelt condolences to Her Majesty the Queen and the royal family. At Hillsborough Castle, member of our network, the 10th Regiment Royal Artillery fired a gun. Salute to mark the death of His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh on 10th April. In total, 41 rounds were fired, with one round every minute, in unison, with other saluting batteries across the UK. This is Prince Philip Hears, designed by the Duke of Edinburgh himself. It will, be carry, it will carry his coffin for his funeral ceremony. Known for his love of Land Rovers, the Duke worked on creating 
this modified vehicle for 16 years, starting in 2003. It has been adapted to include the open top rear section where his coffin will rest in the color of military green. Prince Philip has personally chaffed the Obamas to launch in a Range Rover in 2016. He had a lot to say in other parts of his funeral too. The members of the royal family who we follow on foot behind the coffin are the Princess Royal, Prince of Wales, the Earl of Wessex, and Fofa, Duke of York, the Duke of Sussex, Mr. Peter Phillips, Duke of Cambridge, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, Earl of Snowdon. The national anthem will play as the coffin arrives at Horseshaw Clayton to meet by representatives from the Commonwealth and a dismounted detachment of the household cavalry. The beer bearer party will carry the coffin up the west steps of the chapel before pausing for a national minute silence at 3 p.m. The Dean of Windsor and the Archbishop of Canterbury will then receive the coffin. As the doors to St. George's Chapel close, the Royal Navy Pimping Party will pipe the carrion. Members of the Royal Family. The following members of the Royal Family will attend the funeral service in the chapel. Duchess of Cornwall, Countless of Wasses and Fofa, Viscount Savan, Lady Louise Mountbatten Windsor, Duchess of Cambridge, Mr. and Mrs. Mike Tindall, Princess Beatrice, Mr. Eduardo Mapelli Mozi, Princess Eugene, Mr. Jack Brooksbank, Lady Sarah, and Mr. Daniel Chato, Duke of Gloucester, Duke of Kent, Princess Alexandra, the Hon, Honorable Lady Ogilvy, Hereditary Prince of Baden, the Landgrave of Hesse, the Prince of Hohole Langobe, Countless Mountbatten of Bama. The congregation will wear masks for the service and members of the royal family will wear the dress or morning coats with medals. During the service, a small choir of four will sing pieces of music chosen by the Duke of Edinburgh. The choir will be located in the nave, away from the seated congregation, and in line with public health guidelines, there will be no congregational singing. The funeral service will be conducted by the Dean of Windsor and is expected to last for approximately 50 minutes. At the conclusion of the service, the Duke of Edinburgh coffin will be lowered into the royal vault. The Archbishop of Canterbury will pronounce the blessing and the national anthem will be sung by the choir. Her Majesty the Queen, members of the royal family and the Duke of Edinburgh's family will then depart the chapel via Gilly. L of Wasses with his wife and daughter Prince Philip's son and daughter-in-law, Edward and Sophia, are viewing the flowers which have been moved to the grass outside St. George Chapel, where the funeral will take place. The Wasses' daughter, Lady Louise, was there. Buckingham Palace confirms Prince William and Prince Harry won't walk next to each other at Prince Philip's funeral. The brother's cousin, Peter Phillips, is set to walk between them in the funeral procession. The Queen, the Duke of Sussex, Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke of Cambridge, the Duchess of Cambridge, the Duke of York, 
the Princess Eugenie, Jack Brooksbank, Princess Royale, Sir Timothy Lawrence, Peter Phillips, Earl of Wasses, Countess of Wasses, Lady Louise Windsor, James Vincent Savan, Princess Beatrice Odadu Mapele Mozi, Zara Tindal, Mike Tindal, Lady Sarah Chato, Daniel Chato, the Duke of Kent, Princess Alexandra, the Duke of Gloucester, Earl of Snowdon, Bernard, hereditary Prince of Baden, Prince Philip of Honeyhall, Lambo, the countless Mombatan of Bonn, Prince Donatus, Landgrave of Hesse, 